Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. The topic for today's class is time and work. Again, a very important topic of quantitative aptitude, not only for GATE, but for various other examinations that test quantitative aptitude. The idea behind time and work or the fundamental principle is very simple and we are going to solve a question that is going to test just that. So let's start. The question says if five men and three boys can reap 23 hectares in four days and if three men and two boys can reap seven hectares in two days then how many boys must assist seven men in order so that they reap 45 hectares in six days right and the options are one two three and four so we know that five men and three boys can reap 23 hectares in four days three men two boys can reap seven hectares in two days seven men and how many boys are going to reap 45 hectares in six days right so we want to find out how many boys and seven men can reap 45 hectares in six days that is the question so again pause the video pick up your pen and paper try to solve this question before you cross check with the solution that we are going to discuss generally in questions like this what do we do we have the number of days given to us right so we know that uh, uh, five men and four women can complete a certain work in six days or uh, five men and five children can complete a work in 10 days and so on and so forth and then we define the work as the lcm of the number of days that is given to us right that's what we do that is how we approach questions like that we define the work as the lcm of the number of days individually taken up by the men women children in this case however the work has been given to us we know that five men and three boys reap 23 hectares right that is the work that uh, is defined in this question and the number of days has also been given to us so how are we going to proceed in order to solve this question we need to have our concept very clear our fundamental should be very clear that how do we define terms in these type of questions right so i am going to suppose that a is uh, let's say or let me take m as the work done by one man in one day right so one man's one day's work let it be equal to m and one boy's one day's work let this be equal to b this is what we have right the first information tells me that in four days five men and three boys reap 23 hectares right so just look at this one man's one day's work is m how many men we have we have five men so five men one day's work is going to be how much simply it is going to be 5m right similarly three boys so three boys five uh, one day's work is going to be nothing but 3b right also i know that they worked for four days so this is one day's work so five men four days work Five men, four days work is nothing but this 5m into 4. Similarly, three boys, four days work is going to be equal to 3b into 4. So, this is a 20m and this is a 12b. So, this 20m plus 12b is equal to how much? What is the work done by five men in four days and three boys in four days? that has been given to us as 23 hectares and this gives me the first equation is this clear or not so you know as i said in order to solve this question you should be very clear as to how exactly do i proceed when these type of questions we always start with one man's one day's work or one woman's one day's work or one boy's one day's work as is given in the question right so here also we're going to start in that same manner and then eventually we will be able to find out what has been given to us and what we need to find out so one man's one day's work if i take it to be m and one boy's one day's work we take it to be b 
How many men we have? We have five men. So five men one day work will simply be 5m. Three boys one day's work is 3b. We also have the number of days that is 4. So it is simply going to be 5m five five into 4 and for boys it is going to be 3b into 4. So this is 20m and 12b. This is the total work done by 5 men and 3 boys in 4 days and that has also been given to us as 23. So 20m plus 12b is equal to 23. Same thing we are going to apply with the next information given to us that is 3 men work for 2 days and 2 boys work for 2 days and what is the work done by them 7. So this is going to be simply 6m plus 4b is equal to 7. So this is going to be my second equation. This is going to be my second equation and now all I want to do is find solve this 1 and 2 in order to find out the value of m and b, right, simply. So 20m plus 12b is 23, 6m plus 4b is 7. So let's multiply this with a 3. I will get 18m plus 12b is equal to 21, okay. So 20m, if I subtract, then I will have 20m plus 12b is equal to 23 just minus it 2m is equal to 2 so m is going to be equal to 1 and if m is 1 then how much is going to be b you can replace it in any equation so 7 minus a 6 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 so m is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 by 4 this much we have found out right m is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 by 4. Now what do I want to find in the question? How many boys must assist 7 men in order to reap 45 hectares in 6 days, right? So let's see, let the number of boys that we want to find out be x. So let number of boys be equal to x. So I know 7 men are working for 6 days and this x number of boys are also working for 6 days. What is the work done? Work done is 45. I know m and b so let's replace it. m is 1 so this is a 42 and b is 1 by 4 so 6 by 4 x is equal to 45. So simplifying x is going to be this is a 3 into 4 by 6 that is 2. So the number of boys required is Two. So, two boys work with seven men in order to do 45 hectares of work in six days and the answer here is B. As I said, in order to be able to solve this question, your fundamental should be clear as to how we define work in questions of time and work. So, we start with one man's one day's work, one woman's one day's work, in this case one boy's one day's work. How many men have been given, how many boys have been given, how much work is being done in how many days. And eventually we will be able to find out uh, M and B because we will arrive at two sets of quadratic equations with two unknown and we will be able to solve the question. Here is the practice question for you. Again a very simple basic question that deals with the fundamental concepts of time and work. Two coal loading machines each working 12 hours per day for 8 days handles 9 tons of coal with an efficiency of 90%. While three other coal loading machines working at an efficiency of 80% handle 12 tons of coal in 6 days. So how many hours per day should each of the 12 machines work? 12 hours per day, 16 hours per day, 20 hours per day or 18 hours per day. So again a very fundamental question. It can be solved using the most fundamental concepts of time and work. Give it a good try and uh, leave your answers in the comment section below. If you have any doubts or any questions related to what we just discussed, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.